What's good, y'all? It's the Machette, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good to see you, bro. So good to see you, too. This is such a beautiful family home from what I can see already. Achieving a family home like this must have probably felt like or oh, better than any trophy you've won. Certainly, yeah. I think uh, you know, it took a lot of work to you know to get where it is today. But uh, I can tell you for sure that the work that goes behind the scenes is uh, much more than 80 minutes on a rugby field. And coming down this long driveway, I can tell that it's multi-tiered and you have a lot to show me. Yeah, I've got a few uh, jerseys and uh, some uh, medals I want to show you, so come through. A potent scrummager and ball carrier, Beast has been a match-winning cornerstone of Sharks and yeah, Springbok yeah. Rugby for a decade. But there are still titles he'd like to bring home. Yeah, Mavs, uh, welcome to my uh, little memorabilia room and uh, try to keep all the special jerseys and the special medals and some trophies that I've won along the way. I feel like a little kid right now. This is so cool. You've got Springbok caps here. You've got Sharks caps. Your 100th game. So that must be an incredible moment for you. Yeah, no, it was a really special moment getting my 100th uh, in New Zealand and the toughest place to play in the world. So we played against the Crusaders uh, in Christchurch and we won it. Uh, we were 14 men down for 60 minutes and then we came back to win. It's a really special memory. But I mean, a beast is worth two men, so it doesn't really count, does it? <laughs> Jeez, I wouldn't say so, man. Which, which one really stands out for you as one of the most memorable parts of your, I guess, your memorabilia of your career here? No, I think uh, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go grab my British and my Irish Lions uh, cap to play in a series that only comes about in 12, every 12 years and get to win that. So uh, something really special and uh, yeah, something I'll treasure forever. Well, I can certainly see why, if you don't mind me touching, sorry. No, of course you can't touch it, man. <laughs> I can definitely can. see why it would be so special to you. And I mean, some of the things that stand out here, this beautiful Springboks signed jersey from the 2015 World Cup. Yeah, no, it was obviously quite uh, disappointing that we didn't uh, win the World Cup, but uh, this was like a consolation prize. We ended up playing in the third and fourth playoff uh, against Argentina, and uh, we beat them convincingly, and for that, I uh, brought home a bronze medal, at least uh, something to show for our efforts. Isn't it great to know that you'll be able to fill this up with some gold next year? Okay. <laughs> yeah, certainly, man. I'm, uh, I'm excited, to, you know, because I've still got a, there's still a few more sports, as you can see, so I need to add in there a Super Rugby title and uh, also a World Cup. So I'm gonna definitely bust my chops to make sure that uh, you know, I can get those two trophies. What people know about you though is that you are a superhero on the rugby field and I'm looking at the image behind me of the moment you held up Anton Bresler after the kickoff and he Golly. almost flipped right over you but you pretty much saved his life. No, oh, geez, I think I get asked a lot about that, wow. you know, that specific moment. But it's something that, uh, you know, I've been uh, training for in the gym, making sure that I can save my teammates in a moment like that. So, yeah, it's not the only time that I've done it, you know. There's been other guys uh, that I've had to save as well, you know, notably uh, Eben Etzebeth, and he's much heavier than Anton. So I uh, had to really work hard there. But uh, in the end, you know, you have to protect your teammates. In 2018, Tendai should earn a century of Springbok caps while his wife, Kuziva, is in her final year of a psychology degree. With nice. building completed, Ku plans to do a master's in psychology and communication science, then open a practice. Zendai Ku, this is a really beautiful home. What were you looking for when you were creating the space? I think we're just looking for um, open spaces that capture our character and our personalities best and the fact that it's quiet and serene nice. because he's always away playing so when he comes home he wants to rest and have some peace and quiet. This couldn't have been easy by any means so what was that process like? No, it was quite a long. We had to endure almost uh, two years of building and yeah and no, eventually everything came together and I uh, must tell you that uh, the lady that did our interior was amazing and thanks to her she's right here. She <laughs> <laughs> Sinead, they mentioned that this home couldn't have been what it is without your touch. So what would you say you needed to consider to be able to meet all those demanding needs from this family? They're not demanding, trust me, I know. <laughs> uh, no, but also we had a fabulous architect to work with, Tracy. Uh, you know, if you've got good bones, you can dress it with almost anything. But also these two have really fabulous taste. They had quite a good idea of what they wanted. 
and Ku was quite specific about our kitchen as well. She wanted the whole family to have the space to enjoy. This butler's ink and graphite tap from Kohler was absolutely perfectly placed here for her, together with her whirlpool appliances. So yes, yeah, so it, it actually came together so you, very you well. you love the kitchen area. How you feel in the kitchen? Because right now they got a sink away from everything. Mm -hmm. So whenever you in there cooking, doing your thing, you don't have to worry about, you know, kids running around washing their hands mm -hmm. in the sink. Why are you trying to cook? No, I like where the sink is, you yeah. know, for the children to come wash their hands before they eat. And mm -hmm. then they have the table connected. I love that. Yeah, you know, I see that too. Like yeah, for yeah. breakfast. But I yeah. have a person, I like my dining table. But I think I did see a dining table, a long dining table. Yeah, I like my dining sense. room to be separate. You know, when you have guests over for like a holiday or something. Mm -hmm. I like that. No, thanks. I feel that. See, in the island faces the entertainment area. She can watch her kids play while B sits at his fire pit. So, yes, I think all in all, oh, the design that. came together very nicely. Tendai, she mentions the fire pits. Okay. Is that uh, your favorite spot out there? Yeah, that is certainly my favorite part. And, uh, you know, when the boys come over, we Let's can uh, sit down there and uh, have a drink or two and uh, have a nice bonfire and talk some stories. And Ku, I can tell from your smile and body language and how you're hanging on to this countertop that this is a place you're quite possessive over. Yes, I am. <laughs> Very much so. Um, I love it. It's the nucleus of the home. We find ourselves here at uh, the beginning of each day with the kids rushing off to school. And I also find that we're also back here in the evening. So this place is the place where we host conversation and we host family and friends. So yeah. Now, I know there's still a whole lot more of this house that I need to see. So where to next? Oh, Maps, you're gonna have to excuse me, man. Daddy duty's calling out. I've got to go pick up the kids and come back, so I'm gonna let the ladies show you around. Ciao. Great. <laughs> With the humid weather here, it pays to have an open, airy home. I think that's my favorite the part, yeah. have been painted black to add interest to the roof design, and the decor choices are both natural and contemporary. Oh wow, this is a great space. I can see myself spending a lot of time here. I love these natural elements and the earthy tones that you've clearly gone for. Yes, uh, we thought the greens and the earthy tones, the browns, the mustard and the blue would complement the serene space we have here, just the nature that is around us. Yes, and also, I, of course, you wanted something a little... I've seen these spaces like open only on one side before, yeah, but yeah. to have both of them open like that, oh my God. So I, I really it. think they're closed too, on the low. What you mean? Like probably had like one of them... Yeah, uh, like you can, uh, um, the option to close it. The mom, what you call them, smart houses, right? Oh. Where they have the big blinds or the some clothes on them. That would be yeah. dope if they had that, but the open space, I feel like that's what, like one of my favorite points right Yes, there. I love that, especially like on a cool day, you, mm -hmm. you're eating, you know, you're not really outside eating. But yeah. You see you how up it was weed? though? Yeah. So you know that breeze hit crazy. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This is, I love it. The difference is a bit of Facts. So we did that softening wallpaper, which brings in a little bit of romantic Details. art deco, sunray type of uh, geometric pattern, and then earthed it again with the solid walnut table. And then, of course, your beautiful Clinton Friedman's, which is artist proofs. The first time I saw it at an exhibition, I knew it had to come home with us, and when we put it up, it was love at first sight for you. <laughs> <laughs> and something that I guess would also be love at first sight for you, because you're a big reader. This is. Your reading mm. corner, yes. a little private space away from the okay, big public space. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. I love that, uh, you know, when it gets chaotic and the kids are screaming, I can send them to their playroom and then I can just come here with the book and read away. I love it. I love how these colors are just so beautifully complementary with oh. the metallics. And one thing you can't actually not notice is this beautiful chandelier. Yes, this is a molecule which is also manufactured and sourced in South Africa. In fact, all the pendants are sourced in South Africa with the exception of our ring pendants which are over the stairs and in the kitchen. And then of course I love these glass vessels with a little bit of fun leopard print element to it. Well yeah. speaking of fun, if I take a little look through there, something tells me there's a bit of fun beyond those walls. Oh yes, that's the kids' playroom. At the age of six, Talumba is in primary school and four-year-old Wangu is in creche. But they got a head start on learning on, at home. The one thing Pew said right off the bat is because Beast travels so much, she wanted a huge big map on the wall so that she can actually teach the children where their dad is all the time. And that puppet, whenever he's away, they get to stick it and ask them where their dad is. And also, you know, it's also educational. Then they'll get to know what countries where. 
And if I look around, I see all these educational toys, so they must get quite a bit of use out of the room. They sure do. I mean, if you just look right there, there's a little chair and a little desk, so my little one gets to do her homework there. And when they're done with their homework, then they can play around. And uh, I specifically chose dark colors, the olive green, so that they can feel free and have to, you know, just be kids and play around. And if they mess it about, adults will not complain at all. And the kids love to swim, and um, so it was our architect oh, idea, Tracy. Nah, to hold on. I just had to. I just had to shout you out on this one because the way she have all that set up and what type of mother she is reminds mm -hmm. me of you. Mm -hmm. um, she, you know what I'm saying? you Both of y'all together, like, the idea that, you know, I got to have the world map around the house. Mm -hmm. That Sierra. I got to have me a library, bookshelves, all over. That Sierra. Educational mm -hmm. toys. That's you. Like, just watching that really, like, I just couldn't stop thinking about you oh. when I seen all of that. Oh, thanks. That's how our kids' playroom is now. The facts. We yeah. have maps. <laughs> we y'all gonna know everything. All the educational toys. That's how you be. Their playroom is surrounded with bookshelves on the wall. Mm hmm Yes. I love that she had it as like a multi purpose playroom. Yeah. You know, the T V on the wall with the sofa if they wanna just sit down, watch T V, then a um a desk. Mm -hmm. I like that. I wish more people would want to invest in their a uh, space for their children in the home right if you have the space you know because i feel like we came from a space of where the children played in their room and so i was always saying clean up your room clean up your room while right. they're in the middle of playing yeah you know and so i said you know what we just gonna have a separate space for them and so yeah. any place we move to it, we have to have a separate separate place for them yeah it's like a second toys. room almost but it's not closed off it's open where right, everyone right, can right. sit observe the babies playing around doing their thing and it's, it's fun you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. we get to get involved we're right there with them and they get to involve and create it the way they want to. It's their space. It's their mm -hmm. personal little lounge. Like yeah. for you, you have your personal little reading area and yep. they have their personal little play area, mm -hmm. learning area. You know, it's really multi-purposeful, you know? Yeah. Everybody the has. swimming pool right next door yeah. because they're water safe and it would be easy access. The large patio has a built-in bench for sundowners, an undercover area for brides, really and open. architect mm. Tracy Levinson optimized every bit of space. Tracy, it must be said, magnificent work with the design of the space, but it couldn't have been easy with this original site. Yes, it was a very steep site, and the main part of what they wanted was to create a flat play area, garden, big enough to actually throw a rugby ball. So oh. that was very tricky. We had to take this oh, very I steep see. site, and the idea was to push the house all the way forward so that it floated on the site, and we could fill up the back and create this garden space. Nice, How did you nice. manage to execute such a beautiful flow on a multi-layered level we just had a lot of sliding doors lots of glass to open up to the back and open on the front and and then we tucked the bedrooms in underneath so that it would be private and feel that they could escape from the craziness of the living spaces well one thing that the family always seems to mention that they enjoy is this beautiful pool which I hear was an engineering feat Yes, it was. We wanted the pool to be on the same level the as glass, the living bro. spaces, which is upstairs. So we had to somehow make the pool float. So we needed to get an engineer involved to help us make sure that this beautiful lap pool was set above the bedrooms below and emphasized the 180 degree sea view we have. Being on an estate with height restrictions and neighbors' views to consider, the idea of the house was to sit within the slope and to step down with it. Inside, the stairs to the bedroom level are an elegant, oh, calm transition from the living area above. And this is your pajama lounge. Yes. This is where we spend most of our time, because you can see by the massive TV, we love to, you know, watch a couple of movies, entertain a little. And the fact that it is close to the bedrooms and our main suite just makes it all easy. And I imagine with this massive TV and this L culture that Tendai must spend a lot of time watching sports. Yes, he does, actually. Uh, this is where he comes to catch up on some sport and watch his also, you know, favorite teams, basketball and all. And this is actually his man cave. This province is made for an outdoor shower. But if you want to soak a while, Tendai has turned the everyday bath into an art. This is the beautiful master bath. This is actually a sonic bath by Cola. And the beautiful cabinetry is by Gabriel. Years ago in Durban North Morningside, in an old hotel, I saw a whole wall panelled with beveled mirrors. And I thought, someday I would like to have a space where we can use that. And this is just the perfect spot, right? Framing yeah, this great. beautiful neolith clad bath and the lovely organic pendants hanging above. 
One thing I do know about Tendai is that he loves his gadgets and his tech. And I think I see some speakers over there. Was that his idea? Yes, it was all his idea. He picked it out, the bath, which is quite unusual for guys to do. But yeah, he was very specific. He loves his music, he loves his gadgets, and he made sure that he would have some music playing whilst he takes a Bible bath. Ku's husband spends much of the rugby season in hotel rooms across the world. So their own bedroom needed to be luxurious and sophisticated without feeling like a hotel. Yeah. I really love this master bedroom. It just feels so cozy. There's a velvet on the headboards with the curtains incorporated there, the couches, and you've gone for a lot darker tones. So I guess usually when I see wallpapers, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like it's loud. It's like it's you have to really get it to match the room. Hers and how she has everything, you know, did from all of them is very simple. I love the pattern tones. Yeah. And it's not it's not too loud. You yeah, know what it's I mean? not too busy. The pattern. It's not too busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah like 100%. even um she was it his man cave she was just talking about? Yeah. When they first came downstairs, even that print wasn't you know too much. It was just some I don't know the name of the print, y'all. Nah, but y'all saw. <laughs> to make it more intimate. Definitely more cozy, the cocoon that um, Ku wanted. And we draped it in this beautiful, bitter, chocolate, heavy, cotton woven velvet with this magnificent aroma wallpaper. And again, the organic pendants hanging on either side of the bed. Then we cooled it down with this beautiful saturated, almost like a soft teal green, sea green velvet on the chairs. And what also makes this space so fabulous is that it interlinks to the children's bedrooms. So if oh, Koo does need to get up at night, you know, she it. has interleading doors to the other bedrooms. Yes, um, and something specific that I wanted for the kids' bedrooms is that when they transition, because they're growing, I didn't want it so childlike with the animal characters, which is quite cute, but I wanted something that was going to be easy on us. So they're still child-friendly, but also they can grow with the room as well. So we've spoken about these bedrooms down here, but there's also a guest bedroom. There's a beautiful guest bedroom. As you come down the first set of stairs, you'll notice that magnificent tunnel that we've created going into the kitchen. From there, you'll go into the guest WC and that beautiful guest suite, which is adorned with zebra tufted velvet wallpaper, some snakes keeping prints on the headboard, and then giraffe patterns on the throws. International rugby is a big family, oh, so there will always be guests visiting. It's too early to know if Wangu will follow in his father's yeah. footsteps, but mm. he has the natural talent. As for his older sister, Talumba, her happy place seems to be wherever her dad is. And when he's home, she has a fairly good idea that he's likely to be here. So now I can clearly see why this fire pit is the favorite part of the home for you. It's just so warm and inviting. It was obviously the top of the list. Uh, this was certainly at the top of my list, not really uh, Ku's list. I guess he thought it was just uh, you know, uh, probably an extra that we didn't need. But for, for myself, it was it was crucial to have a fire pit so and I can have special times like this, you know, with the family and also, you know, just uh, friends that come over, especially my teammates, and they love this kind of setup, you know, and chatting for, you know, forever and have a drink or two, you know, so it's something really special. Kut and I says it wasn't at the top of your list, but I'm sure you've warmed up to it now. Yes, uh, it did. Now, now it has grown on me. I love it here. Um, it's nice and quiet, and I get to, you know, also come here and just run away from the chaos around the house. So, yeah, it's also become a little bit of my favorite, yeah. Tulumba, what do you love about the home? Swimming. And Wangu, Swimming. what about you? Um, I also love swimming. Tulumba, aren't mom and dad just the absolute best? They're incredible! <laughs> Taku, good luck with the studies. And beautiful man. Hey, that was fire. You know, aka the beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he kills on a rugby field, and obviously you can tell he kills it as a family man as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's good stuff. That is always beautiful to see. You know, I love their home. It was beautifully decorated. Mm -hmm. It seems that everything just seems simple. You know, some celebrities their homes don't seemed like family oriented mm -hmm. this home seemed like it had everybody in mind nothing was out of place nothing was flashy you know so i always okay. that. gotta have that woman touch <laughs> yes <Yeah>, sir <laughs> all right y'all we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us be sure to subscribe we'll see you soon peace, peace.